Hi guys, what's going on? Kim here. Can we hear Eliza? I was just going to say, a little Eliza who has been sick here. How are you feeling? Good. Be and lots of better. Lots of better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she thinks. She acts like it, but she's still got a temperature. She's still over 100 degrees. So I'd like to get her cooled down, but... She won't calm down to cool down. She just wants to play now because she feels a little bit better. It's not 104.5 anymore. Yeah, no, no, no. You're supposed to be laying down. <sighs> She's not going to listen, is she? <laughs> Please lay down, okay? I'm not really going to film too much because now I have to clean my house. It's typical mom everyday life stuff and I'm sure that would bore you. So instead I actually have a video um, for you guys. It's old footage. I took it around Halloween and I made caramel apples. <laughs> Sorry I'm not getting anything new up for you guys but gotta take care of her. Yeah. Ugh, I gotta keep her seated. Lay back down. <laughs> what are you doing? <gasps> she has a headless pony. Uh, Eliza? Do you want to explain that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> so this is the caramel apple video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy watching. If you did, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a good night, guys. Hi, guys! What's going on? Kim here, and I'm hanging out solo right now. Um, fall is among us, and it's been so beautiful and I really love this weather but one of my favorite things about this weather is the treats that go along with it all the pumpkin spice I am one of those people I will eat pumpkin spice all day long if I can it's my favorite I love pumpkin but one of my other favorite things is caramel apples I would eat caramels all day long if I could and not get sick or fat er so um, I have some stuff right now. I was looking at a recipe that I had and I thought, oh wait, you know what? I have almost all of this. We just went apple picking for Lily's birthday and I wanted to utilize some of these apples. The only thing I didn't have was the sweetened condensed milk, so I took my ass to the store and got some. I am going to make caramel apples. So, I've got all my stuff I need. I have my light corn syrup, vanilla extract, the sweetened condensed milk, my brown sugar, and that's basically, well, butter, which is in the fridge right now. So I will get the butter out, but that's basically all I need. I have my candy thermometer ready to go. And for toppings, um, I can't eat this, but I crushed up some Mr. Good Bars, and we'll put that on a couple of them to spruce them up a bit. And I got my sticks to shove up them and ready to go. My apples are clean. Um, I know some people boil them, but I'm not, I kind of didn't. I do them in hot water to get the wax off and then I scrub them. They're fresh off a tree. They create their own wax. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. We'll find out. Um, the caramel could just slide right off the darn things. But we're going to go ahead and get this started. Um, I got, oh, also, I got my pan with the parchment ready because once this heats up, it's going to go quick. I've never, ever actually made homemade caramel and especially apples like this by myself. Um, I've seen other people do it um, differently. I've seen other people unwrap the candies. Um, but I actually, if I'm doing it, I want to make it from scratch. So, because um, like I said, it's one of my favorites and I want to do the best for it that I can. Um... But yeah, so I've never done this before. Um, I'm going by a recipe that I, the caramel is amazing on it. Um, and so I'm just going to use that one and hopefully it turns out well for me. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this started. I got to go. I'm not even sure what my first step is. I think I got to get this going with all my shit. So let's get this going. I don't know which is the better way here. We're just going to do it like this. You're just going to take your stick and drop it <laughs> like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. You're going to shove. Dang. I may need both hands for this. 
Can you see that? There we go. Whoop, it started to come through the whole thing. Pushed a little bit too far down, but that's okay. I guess. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, there's one. So I have my apples ready, and we're gonna go ahead and start all in one saucepan. I'm doing two cups of packed brown sugar. Fail. <laughs> one cup of butter. One cup of light caro corn syrup. And one can of sweetened condensed milk. All right, so once this is in, you're gonna bring it to medium high heat until it comes to a boil, then you're gonna reduce it to medium heat. You're gonna keep stirring everything on medium high heat until it starts to come to a boil. Keep stirring, your arm's gonna fall off doing this, but keep stirring it. You're gonna put your candy thermometer in it and then cook it, but stirring constantly until it's 248 degrees. For me, it'll probably be about 30 minutes, I hope. <laughs> All right, so it's starting to boil. Keep stirring, but turn your heat down to medium. And I got my candy thermometer in now. So my arm's probably gonna fall off, but we're doing pretty good. We're getting close to the 248, and I'm a stirring. I'm a stirring. So while I'm still stirring this and waiting on this, I wanna tell you a trick. If you don't have a candy thermometer, you can take a little teaspoon of this and drop it in a glass of cold water and when it forms a ball, like a firm ball, then it's done and you can take it off. Okay, it's off the heat. Two teaspoons vanilla extract and two. Now you, whoop, you wanna work kinda quick here. Woo. I'm gonna mix that in a bit. All right, you wanna get your apples and you wanna start dipping them in. All right, so they smell delicious. Now you gotta kinda work quick. I'm going to put it in and give it a little twirl and hope that stays. Oh man. Oh man. We're going to have a goopy mess. All right. There's one. I'm going to keep going. All right, and then I'll do this one, and I'll put some stuff on it real quick, and you guys can see this one. Oh my gosh. I don't know the best way to do this, so we're just going to kind of do this. Oh my god. What is it, huh? It's Mr. Goodbar. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> You're not funny. Let's see you try and make caramel apples. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep doing this with them. And I'm gonna let it I'll do one more with the rest of this crap. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> no. That's a fail. Okay, you know what, Kyle? I can't believe you just said that. Look at that, it's a fail. That's not nice. I can't believe you just said that. Exit, please. It's not aesthetically pleasing, so. Is all food that you eat aesthetically pleasing? That clam shit you eat all the time looks disgusting. And yet you eat that. You know what else you eat? Turn the camera off. That was disgusting. That's because you don't like caramel. It doesn't smell like caramel though. Yes it does. It doesn't? Oh my god, Kyle, I'm so editing that shit out. Why? <laughs> There's a video of making caramel apples that smells nothing like caramel. Basically your apples are shit right now. So, uh, honestly it smells like popcorn. Oh, I should put some of this on some popcorn. Like burnt popcorn. So it smells burnt, is what you're saying. Smells like burnt popcorn. All right, so in the words of Kyle, they're not aesthetically pleasing, but 
whatever. Take caramel tastes good though. You guys should try this recipe. It's pretty good. All right, and these guys are done. So they just come right off, no problem. They're hard right now because they've been in the refrigerator for a while. So once they sit at room temperature for just a little bit, they'll soften up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get them decorated. So I have plastic wrap and it's the only ribbon I could find. So um, basically what I'm gonna do is we'll do this one first. So I'm just gonna kind of move that there. I'm gonna take a piece of the parchment. It doesn't really matter, I'm not aiming for too much right now. Just gonna stick the apple bin there. I'm gonna cut this and then we're gonna tie it. So let me cut it. I've taken my plastic, I've wrapped it up. Now I'm just gonna take a ribbon and just lightly tie it on. That way it's easier to come off later. And there you go. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these. We're gonna do a Mr. Goodbar one. I've got my plastic, got my parchment. Just gonna stick it right on the parchment paper. And I'm just gonna pull this up. So it closes. I'm gonna get a little piece of string that I've lost. Now I'm gonna get my little piece of string and lightly tie it on. And now the Mr. Goodbar one is good. So I'm just gonna keep going. They're all done. Um, I actually ran out of plastic wrap, so I did a couple of them in wax paper, um, which is gonna work just fine. I'm gonna let one loosen up for a little bit, let it get room temperature, and then we'll try it out and see how it tastes. All right, so I wanna try this bad boy out. Get stuff. Get stuff <laughs> a little sticky. <laughs> oh no. I'll eat the plastic. <laughs> I really only do that with Starburst. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so it's sticking a little bit, but it's not bad. Could be worse. All right, so, bite of a caramel apple. Stop. Stop one. Stop one. <laughs> That's good. 